Hello viewers, welcome back. My name is Toyo C. Phillips. In the course of this season, many stories have come out from the desk of Sahara TV. Many of these stories have shocked not just Nigerians, but the world. Shady deals, badly behaved public officials, corrupt uniformed men, and so on. Many have seen these videos and wonder what else is going on in Nigeria that we don't know about. A proverb says it all. Three things cannot be hidden for long. The sun, the moon, and the truth. Together, We've put together videos that caused a universal gasp. First on the list is the interview with Senator Dino Melaye, a flamboyant senator of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, who is shrouded in controversy. Sahara TV's Rudolf Okonko had the privilege of interviewing him, and this is a clip from the interview. But I'm, I'm looking at, I'm looking at your I, I quoted that a subordinate identifier clause. Okay, you okay, wait, 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 Senator, are you saying that the, your Twitter account is wrong or did someone hack into it? Because I'm looking at your account and I'm seeing you are Lamborghini or a car, I don't know, I think it's a Lamborghini. Did, Twitter, did someone Twitter, post it for you? Um, 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 uh, with due respect, please, I, I, I do expect that um, there are ethical uh, procedure even in journalism. I have a Twitter account that is open. Go to my Twitter account and see where I posted. My we are going. Account. We're going to put it up. We are looking. I'm looking at it, but it's not on the screen as we talk. Excuse, excuse me. Yeah. Excuse me. Okay. I. You have to prove that on my Twitter account I posted my bedroom. I posted a, 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 a power bike. I posted this. People went to get pictures. I, I'm not denying that the Lamborghini is mine. It is my, it's my car. Every human being have a passion and cars one of my passion and they are not products of corruption. As a Nigerian, I've never done government contracts in my life, whether local government, state or federal. I am a transparently honest Nigerian when it comes to um, issues of um, um, corruption and anti-corruption. He seemed pretty upset. And of course, we cannot forget the then-senator-elect Buruji Kashamu, the man who allegedly led a drug ring, which must have been pretty successful because it inspired the Emmy Award-winning Netflix series Orange is the New Black. There was a call for him to be extradited to the United States to face charges that other members of his alleged ring had been convicted for. This is a clip of an interview where he says he's been cleared of all the charges. I was discharged. I'm a Nigerian. I am not running for my fatherland. If anyone thinks he has a case against me, let him follow due process and we will take it up from there. I am not under any obligation to go to the US to answer the same charges after the two judgments of the British court exonerated me mm -hmm. of the same allegation. Yes, he did say he was not obliged to go to the United States, but this nevertheless started a conversation in Nigeria about policymakers who are policy breakers. And this list will not be remotely complete without the Ekitigate scandal reported exclusively by Sahara reporters. It is a recording of a meeting that took place between Obanikoro, Chris Uba, Omishore, Olubolade, and an army general, and how they rigged Governor Fayoshi into power. If we had the time, we'd have played the full recording for you, but listen to the part where Senator Obanikoro, former Senator Obanikoro, uh, Governor Fayoshi, and some others give instructions to the army commander to pick up people disturbing their skin. When we call you, within the next five, ten minutes, we want to know what has been done about it. And we want to get the feedback on our own that this thing has been done. All those they have disarmed, tell your men they must release them. They, they don't disarm anybody. Put, wait, put two or three of your men in charge of that. That before anybody is disarmed, they call that person for clearance. That person will call him. And if he says they should not, Nobody disarm. If he said they should go ahead, he doesn't know them, let them go ahead and disarm them. Then that Daramola wants him to give him the money. No, 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 no,
The people you want them to take control of, to arrest before the money. Mm. Go and bring their list and they look at them. Unfortunately, even with the release of this tape, Governor Fayoshe is still in power. And Captain Colley, who recorded the conversation, is unfortunately, but as expected, on the run. Now, do you remember Anne Welsh? Hmm, the name sticks because she introduced herself with a lot of confidence in the next video. She was the one involved in the Obasanjo Foundation scandal, where some Lebanese men filmed her agreeing to launder money through the foundation. Her fee? 30% of the money being laundered. Watch. Quick, you quick on it. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. <laughs> Sierra. Uh, I think it should be a good number. I think it should be a good number. Like at least 30%, if you don't mind. 30%? Yeah. 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 Y